Hello, hello, welcome back. We've got a fun one today. We got the Bound Dock. So, Bound Dock is neat, but man, you want to talk about difficult things to use because this is a trick you want to use. It's just, it's just too big. It's too big and everybody shoots at it and becomes a pain. But anyway, Bound Dock is cool. I've got mine set up in, um, it's Dragon Heaven inspired colors. If you've ever seen that, then you know exactly what I'm going for for this one because the robots in Dragon's Heaven that this color palette is based off of, they're the same thing. The the Bound Dock is just, um, oh, what are they, I don't remember exactly what they call them, but they're the, I guess the main soldier of the, the main big bad guy. Anyways, they're these. The Bound Dock is one of those, but with legs and transforming. Anyways, the Bound Dock is fascinating because it is a transformable... I don't think we have others that do this. Right? I don't think so. It's a transformable who moves around like space flight when it's transformed rather than transforming and flying around like an aircraft. And it has a melee attack when transformed. It's fascinating. So you can do weird maneuvers where you move in on people and stun them, and then you knock them over a while, and then you de-transform -trans back into a mobile suit form. It's, it's, it's really cool. But it's big, it's clumsy. Yeah, like, you can do that with it, and if I were smart, I would have switched to my melee weapon. I don't know why I didn't there. That's really what I should have done and gotten a hit off or a knockdown or something. But... We didn't do that, we messed that one up. He really should have gone in for a tackle, in my opinion, but it looks like since he's getting backed up, we're going to get just stunlocked to oblivion. I probably should have switched to some sort of melee, <laughs> or sorry, ranged attack there. M missed that first swing terribly. Um, but going back onto why it's difficult to use, and that was sad on my part, just rushing like that and getting knocked over. It's, it's, so it's big. It's easy to get a hit. It doesn't have a lot of, like, stun protection. I'm trying to remember if it has a dodge roll. I think it has a dodge roll when it drops, because it's got a biosensor skill that activates. I forget what the HP level is where it goes to activate, but once it gets below a certain amount of HP, that activates, and I believe when that happens, it has a dodge roll. I'd have to look at the, the skill setup again. Uh, but part of what makes it tricky to use on top of being just easy to hit and having not that great stun defense is that when you're in robot form at least, all the weapons are on the left hand. Which just makes the sight line up really weird. It makes it uh, tricky to aim effectively with. And depending on your setup, it makes it easy for allies to hit, to, or to hit allies rather. But that claw is a lot of fun too. I got a couple of really good combo demonstrations in this match. There, there's moments where I get in and I can do my thing, but it really, it wants to play close, which on top of it just being big and clumsy and difficult to work with, that just makes it that much harder to deal with. Uh, no, I don't think, okay, so there's, there's, I mentioned in my last video, there's one really cool pilot interaction I had at one point. This is not that moment, but I was looking to see if it was that moment. It's not. I don't think it was this match. I, it was either this match or it was another match. Not sure which. Yeah, but if you if you haven't seen uh, Dragon's Heaven, you should... Did I just get... Wow, that was a good airstrike. Wow. That's awesome. Anyways. Uh, we got shot in the back by an ally there. While we were trying to line up shots. Um, it's big. <laughs> It's big, which means it gets in people's way, and it's a problem. That uh, shotgun blast is cool. Fully charged, that shotgun blast does do stun, which means I need to actually check and see if it stuns allies, too. Winforce got knocked down by him there, and he's doing his thing. Uh, quite unfortunate for us. We're going to get back up, stun him, move in. I think this is one of those instances where I get my combos off. Yep, and then we see the big old claw downswing. Ugh, we... Botched that downswing though, unfortunately. The claw downswing, the claw takes a while to reset, but oh, the downswing hit is so much fun on it. it does a lot of damage. It's also, because it's big like that, you can see it's got uh, 
really good. There you go. Now we get a proper combo with it. It's got good melee range. So you can catch people off guard. This is a benefit of the Byrland as well. That one was... Uh, so I was holding down a charge. And then when it transformed back because I ran out of stamina, it switched to the main gun, and because I was already holding down the button, it fired off a shot. Uh, that was not intended. Uh, I'm very upset that I stunned an ally there. That's something to keep an eye on if you see yourself transforming. Let go of the button if you were holding a charge. Because <laughs> clearly I didn't, and it caused a problem. But we're now waiting for the rest of the enemy team to spawn in. We are in full force. A little bit damaged, but still full force, luckily. I'm going to try to do what I can to get some hits off from here. I really want to be moving in, though, which is not going to be the easiest thing. Because, you know, we just got shot out of the air, too. That doesn't help at all. There's another problem with being a big target. I do wish this had more stun resistant on it, just being a big target. I really feel like most, if not all, of the melee heavy suits, we still did get in and get our full combo, so I'm happy with that. But I do feel like most, if not all, of the melee heavy larger suits should have some sort of just general stun protection, specifically for instances like that. Be because you are an easy target to not just get messed up right away. But we're going to see some of the mobile melee stuff uh we did knock over an ally he jumped up there so that's not ideal but we got hits we got hits with our uh, nice little this little claw feet there which is just so much fun uh if we yeah there we go we got the good the uh, final hit in there Everyone's spawning in behind us. I don't think we are long to live. We got a guy moving in on the side there. We're going to deal with that. Hopefully we're going to be able to actually do something. No, he's backing up. We've run out of boost. I don't think we're going to be able to... Yeah, especially with us being stunned by his head Vulcans there. He's going to take us out from a distance. Ranged options are limited on this. The beam gun has a bit of a cooldown on it. The shotgun can... Or I guess the scat. I'm not sure what to call it actually, but the other beam gun is just. It's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just not super high damage. So it can be really difficult. Again, it is a melee center. Oh, I think this is the interaction actually. So we jumped in here to try and stop this guy from taking the waypoint, which we did. I missed my bazooka shot, so that's reloading now, I'm trying to do what I can with just the machine gun. But he's waiting for a good shot himself, and you can see it's, it's, these things aren't accurate, so it's hard to hit. Interestingly enough, if you hit the ground, and then you go into a crouched position, you can see the, uh, reticle, reticle actually gets really accurate, but you're way more vulnerable to those, uh, bazooka shots, which I got out of the way of, landed, got that higher accuracy, took him out with the machine gun. Not something you get a lot of opportunity to do. Usually how those interactions go is someone hits you with the bazooka and then it's all over. But yeah, we, we did our thing. We did okay. I really want to show off a match with this thing where I do a lot better with it. This is a suit I do really like. It's just tricky. I probably have some better matches saved too, so I'll have to go through what I have and see what I can find. But yeah, that's... That's the bound dock. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I look forward to showing off whatever I have next time. I will see you then.